This is obviously not good news for Ireland. Britain is not as important as it once was, but this is never good news when your nearest large trading partner is heading for recession. The Bank of England have called it this lunchtime. They expect the British economy to go into recession in the final three months of this year and will continue to cr contract quarter on quarter for the next four quarters. So we'll be in recession for the entirety of 2023. They're forecasting really high inflation numbers. They ex expect inflation there to peak at over 13% in October and then to last for a considerable period of time. They have introduced a big interest rate hike, half a percent, the largest in 25 years. And their prediction is that the British recession will be as long as the one they went through during the great financial crisis of 12 years ago and will be deep as the one that they experienced in the early 1990s. So never good news for Ireland when this is happening to the British. Meanwhile, Ireland seems to be in a relatively strong position. Our unemployment rate here, it's at a record low for 21 years, isn't that the case? Yeah, we're in a very strange position. Yeah. All these worries about slowdown, we're, see what, we're seeing what's happening in Britain and Europe and the US, but unemployment hit 4.2% in July, the lowest it's been in 21 years. We had really strong exchequer numbers yesterday for the month of July, so strong, in fact, that our debt management agency has actually cancelled a treasury auction planned for later this month. They're not going to borrow as much money as they originally planned because they say our fiscal position is stronger than expected. So the contrast between what we're experiencing and what the British are experiencing is quite remarkable at this stage. Whether it lasts, we'll have to see. All right, Paul, thanks very much for...